let's have a look at one of the OGs of Proton, the Proton Gen 2. We saw it earlier. Now let's have a chat with the owner. What's your name, brother? Ashrol. Ashrol Jamalini. Ashrol, okay. Amza. Amza, okay. From Traction Talk. Oh, I see. <laughs> so, okay, tell us about the car. So, what you see here is not my pretty Gen 2. It's my daily car, my okay. first daily car, which is a Hamida from my mom, where she bought it launch day in back in 20, uh, 2004. So, of course, when, uh, when she had me down the car, of course, it has been well used by love. So, what you see here is a result of daily driving. This is your daily driver, yeah. can This rim alone uh, was changed, I think, during the time my mom was using the car. Alright. Just a very uh, basic aftermarket wheel. Uh. Okay, okay, <laughs> and I see she chose the color orange, eh? Yeah. Masa tu ada purple, light blue, kan? All those yep. and gray. vibrant colors. Gray, uh, white. Yeah. White ada. Yeah. Ah, so yeah, uh, orange is one of the more unique ones lah. Yeah, true. Okay, so it's been what? More than, since what, 2004, yeah? Mm. Lama tu. I think around, I think younger than, younger than my age. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> so it's like 16 years sudah macam tu kan? Okay, okay. So, and yeah, the Gen 2 had some aerodynamic features kan? Macam this side mirror yang tajam, this ribs for airflow. Okay. It's really good. Really good cutting through the wind. Hmm. Which I'm not really surprised when Proton himself actually took one of these to go racing, rallying. Heck, even the British team actually took one of the personas, which is the a sedan version of this car, to go BTCC. Wow, so that's a testament mm. to the capabilities of the car, kan? And we get to drive it on the road every day. Yeah. We are so lucky. Yeah. Did you know Karabjit Singh's Gen 2 is also... Did you know Karabjit yeah, Singh's car is also a Gen 2? Really? Mm. Okay, saya baru tahu. Okay. Wow. See, even the legend himself, Drives a Gen 2. <laughs> Memang capable lah eh. So there it's is a, a... It's a really... Some say it's a really strong chassis car. Which I'm not really surprised when they... You know... Decided to put... Uh, Evo parts inside... Uh, the Gen 2. It can definitely handle the power kan? Yeah. Okay. And I love the front of the car though. It doesn't need to be over designed. Simple the, je. The... Okay. I like the exterior. But I don't, what I don't really like is the interior because it lacks what people nowadays really need uh, functionality. Ah, uh, this is a bit minimalist, kan? Yeah, At very minimalist. Time, Lotus punya pengaruh lah masa tu. Okay, let me show you around my interior. Okay, and I see it has this nice brown color. It came stock macam tu, ke? Yeah, true. Wow. I think this is like the launch color. Like I see. The one you saw on the brochures, posters. Okay. So even years later, I'm not going to change it. I'm just going to keep it this color. Yeah, it's a rarity lah to have this kind of brown in interiors. Mm. Now this thing is dumb and all that. Right, so... Okay. Of course, the steering wheel hasn't been changed. Alright. Ah, we can see it's been very thoroughly used. Allah membeli menang memakai, orang kata. Itulah. So, okay, let me show you one of the things I don't like about this car. Okay. You know how normally all of the cars have got... Don't worry about it. <laughs> Has glove box, right? This car doesn't have them. Okay, it's so, a slot. <laughs> so, and of course, some people always put tissue boxes. This car doesn't have a really good place to put tissue bo boxes. So, what I did, buy one of those uh, Mr. DIY cheap. Oh, nice. Uh, on this car, what do you call it? Like the tissue holder. Uh, tissue thingy. holder. Yeah, and put it on the. Okay. Uh, visor. <laughs> yeah. Then now it becomes a visor in itself. <laughs> yes. Tak payah turun visor dah. Tissue tu dah tutup dah. Actually, one of my top friends, oh, I think, uh, he says almost hitting the box. So thankfully, he's okay with it. Dah. <laughs> okay. So yes, kereta yang sangat berjasa ya yeah, to you and your family. Yes. Wow. See, a lot of stories, you know, in seemingly old cars, you think that oh, kereta buruk, kena cat balik and all that. But all of those are actually the scars of life. <laughs> it has gone through a lot. Yes. Aduh, 
Ashrul, thank you for showing us around your car. You're welcome. Ah, no it's problem. nice to see everyone around here. So we'll be going around and hopefully being able to talk to some owners of the cars and get them to share some stories lah. Let's go. Alright. <laughs> nice meeting you, man. Same, man. At last. <laughs> Impromptu meets uh, like the better than planned ones. Can <laughs> just let it happen <laughs> naturally, right. again. Straight up. Yeah. So we are again with Jonathan. Uh, owner of this Gen 2 MME, very rare. Going home lah, so let's have a final look at the car. I wish to hear your exhaust. R3. Yeah. That is the sound of the exhaust of a Gen 2 MME. Okay, Jonathan, please drive safe. Thank you. See you again. again. God bless. Subscribe. Subscribe. Traction talk. <laughs> okay, and his partner in the Satria GTI. Ah, uh, ni baru betul. Badi badi again. Nice cars, man. Okay, it looks like everyone is adjourning to lunch. I think, but dah mula panas dan kami semua takut hitam. Because we are all handsome and beautiful people, kan? So, kalau hitam tak natural tu, macam kelakar sikit. Hitam natural tak apa. <laughs> okay, so you have just heard the Gen 2 MME exhaust. Beautiful, man. Yes. See, exhaust yang OEM aftermarket ni, tak bising. Dia macam sesedap rasa tau. mostly heard of the car through YouTube so maybe to those of them who have not seen the video and is the first time seeing the car mm -hmm. what would you tell them so maybe on, uh, on uh, maybe a one minute history this is actually uh, a limited production run uh, a custom order uh, Satria new uh, to Proto Motorsport it is not a, actually a product by its own it's okay. uh, a group of people are uh, engaged to one company so to commission 18 units of Satra new club spot so they call it club spot okay. uh, in terms of uh, uh, the car itself is actually uh, was meant to do this one big race uh. it was started in 2008-2009 so uh, the, the car that I have here is uh, is uh, is being prepped by Motorsport actually to do just that I see relatively a very stock uh, plain jane Satria new okay uh, but with um, uh, modifications uh, not on the engine part it's just talking about the uh, coilovers they prepared um, uh, so-called custom uh, six-point roll cage uh, Vicaro uh, TSG okay. with harness and then the uh, uh, custom limb I mean this uh, uh, properly made the uh, real structure so that you can sit low yep. uh, low enough for Satria new if you put uh, you know bucket seat will be too high okay. I but I'm, I'm a short guy tiba-tiba I tengok duduk macam terlalu tinggi so that, on a normal new lah so so this is uh, the base car so what we uh, then this is my car I, I bought it from my friend okay and then my friend bought it from his customer ah. so in this uh, uh, some modifications come to it Open up the bonnet first. Oh, okay. So we'll have uh, Firdaus open up the bonnet. So according to him, this is uh, this has been tweaked for better drivability. Uh, we'll have the owner do the honors lah. So um, what comes with the car essentially when we got it is we rebuild back the engine fully rebuilt uh, the engine uh, with uh, stronger internals, uh, supercharger, uh, custom gear ratio uh, on top of uh, my red gearbox. Okay. So right, uh, but the last we I know is about 190 on wheels. Uh, so uh, maximum rev is about 8003. Wow. So 8003, uh, still work in progress. Uh, uh, 
uh, has a good power, good response. Uh, but uh, some parts actually retains original. Hmm. Example, uh, Radiator ni. Okay. Uh, Proton original to me, as long as I mean at the moment it's still good enough. Hmm. Uh, majority of you know uh, the uh, low arms all original. Uh, but the rest of the thing like suspension have been rebuilt. Okay. Uh, coilovers. Uh, okay. Okay. Then uh, we redo the entire wiring. Ah. So uh, wiring with new uh, engine management systems with uh, better updated ones. And you can see here one of the interesting. This is actually a water injection kit, right? So the idea here is that uh, when the intake air time is getting too hot, uh, we uh, it will actually uh, you know squeeze a uh, few uh, I mean some some water from coming from the uh, engine uh, the, the, the the rear tank pull in to actually reduce the air time at the this intercooler. Uh, so that to make it drivable lah. Okay. Uh, then you see here, this is actually rather than uh, we go old school lah. So drive by wire uh, on the standard, we change to uh, drive by cable ah. uh, to provide a more sim simpler setup and uh, and to is 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 uh, to provide better response lah. Okay. Uh, it's not that you cannot do the same with. Uh, Drive by wire to the body, mm -hmm. but uh, this one is much more simple for us to achieve that. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So the you you look underneath there. There's actually a custom channeling air duct towards the air, air apa, towards the brakes to pull it down. Ah. Uh, so we're nice. running on uh, endless uh, four port four port brakes. Uh, Two ninety four mm. Which fits just enough under uh, 15. This okay. is 16 though, but uh, under 15, like TE 37 rims, uh -huh. just nice. It's just snug. So I can actually do track driving on it. See. Uh, uh, this one is actually a carbon bits that I thought I want to actually reduce the weight, mm -hmm. uh, reduce the weight on the front end. Uh, this is just. Uh, so called a uh, motorsport guy, which is Motorsport guy, much to be done. Okay. Tengok dekat dalam ni is uh, apa? Uh, just like any other new. Eh? But okay. it's completely straight out. There's no internal carpet. Okay. Uh, we have apa? Uh, Ricaro uh, DC5 at the passenger. Uh, Ricaro PSG full bucket uh, on the driver side. Uh, that is actually a Momo tuner steering wheel with uh, Defi uh, uh, ref counter. Mm -hmm. uh, in the center of it, I I want to keep it clean. So kita just ada a kind of switch. Okay. And uh, the ECU actually uh sitting inside here. Ah. Uh, sitting inside okay. here. I let me see if I can just pop it up. Not sure if I can. Yeah, this is the roll cage lah mentioned. Supports the structure of the car. Okay, it's so, there where the airbag is in normal news. Yeah. Lah. So this is uh, uh, we do uh, uh, a different kind of uh, fuse box and then the ECU are sitting inside that. It's wow. running on a link ECU uh, and then it controls almost everything about the car, including okay. the aircons, the uh, okay. the timing for even the radiator fan when it's gonna kicks in, mm -hmm. water injection, everything. Okay, easily accessible, yeah, over there. Yeah. All right. So that's a very smart, smart. Way and a smart place to put your ECU. Yeah. Okay, and the rest is pretty much as it is, lah. As yeah. you got it, yes, it, is. it is. and it's track ready. Yeah, hmm. it's a track car ready. Uh, but it's a uh, work in progress, lah, kan? Uh, last time we, I, I managed to do two two forty three, sepang two forty three sepang. Oh, uh, now with the new engine, we, we oh, hope that with my skill that tak seberapa ini nak try two forty one lah. I know a very good driver. 241 is easy ah. for the car. Maybe kalau kita current engine by right, everything goes okay. Maybe sub 240. Okay. Uh, so, but uh, I just treat it as a weekend toy. Uh, uh, kata, uh, uh, you won't get this kind of car anymore because uh, you look at uh, the design of Sakura Neo itself, right? Uh, there, there'll be no new cars that comes with, you know, uh, a low slung. Uh, apa? Uh, lowered apa uh, chassis semua dah tinggi-tinggi macam uh, SUV yeah uh, so and then uh, 
uh, the way how uh, it is being built is meant to be driven at the pun uh, kata at the at the water spot level. That's why Japanese actually wants it to get it. I don't know. Maybe from what I heard, maybe during that time when the only satria new being exported to Japan is because maybe Japan doesn't even have uh, uh, a new car with independent rear suspension. So that's why the nampak Proto ni okay lah. <laughs> because nak gunakan untuk rally kan? Yeah. Maybe that's the kind of car. So I thought I just keeping it lah. I hope lah eh. Uh, but it's 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 a, it's a pretty nice car to drive. If you really own it. Say you want to drive daily, maybe you can see lah. <laughs> yeah, because it's purpose built, kan? Oh, yeah. So, uh, the, it is still a, a work in progress. Okay. I, I hate this color, BCF ni. <laughs> sakit mata, so nak kena cat balik. Tengok lah, I mean, apa, tengok pada pocket lah, kan? Kita ada pocket, kita nak buat. Kita, kita ada rezeki lebih, kita buat lah. Yeah. For the time being, just, apa, it's as it is. Okay, so it's about the journey, not the destination. Always keep improving yourself in whatever you do. Firdaus, thank you so much for thank sharing. You. All right. it's, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you and the car finally. <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you. This is a very clean looking Wira. Very nicely done. Looks compact. Looks very well put together. Paint in very good condition. And okay, let's have a walk around. I am sure some of you might have seen this car online because the owner is quite active on social media. And many would recognize these plaid like golf gti esque motifs on the seats upholstery and we are here with the owner tiva <laughs> okay tiva it's a pleasure to meet you here at yeah, this uh, very you. first meeting of apa khabar proton lama hari ini yes, dah yes. hari ini memang panas <laughs> panas gila <laughs> nasib baik it was about to rain kan this it's morning about to rain, yeah. yeah okay so tiva most or, or maybe some of us that have seen this car online on tiktok uh, some uh, are in awe of the cleanliness and the apa, level of restoration that you have done to this car. Yeah. So tell us, how did the ownership of your car came to be? Okay, uh, so uh, this car actually is my father's car. I mean, it was a family car. So bought new in 2002, I remember. I went to the showroom. It was near around Sri Kembangan back then. So... This car was used like daily for my family lah. And then until uh, 2014, actually my, my father passed away. So this car was sitting at home basically, was just sitting there. And then there was this idea of, for me, want to get a new car. Mm. But then I thought like, why if, what, what if I restore this car that is sitting at home, right? So that's when the idea came, okay. Let me try to find some stuff on Shopee and see what's there. So when I see Shopee, right? Oh my God, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, okay. You have the grill, you have the, all the stuff, right? I was like, okay, okay, okay. I think I can do this, you know, like in a cheap way. But uh, it didn't end up in a cheap way. <laughs> I, 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 I end up spending a lot. But yeah, that's how the way it came to be. And then, yeah, that's how I start, I start to restore one by one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so... The special part of this car is the car is not uh, being abused mm. during the ownership mm. of my family. So that's why a lot of stuff is original. Just the minor parts like, you know, uh, the, uh, the, the, the seat fabrics uh, was, was bad. And then like the steering wheels was bad. But most of the stuff was in good condition. Okay. So, so that's my specialty. I, I feel like that's the, uh, the reason why uh, I really love to restore this car because I did just the you know the, the minor minor parts only because the major part was good even the the, the, the car never been in accident before okay yes okay so is this the original color uh, original was uh, brown and yellow we call it it okay. was like a gold color oh okay yes. and I suppose you chose this grayish color lah. yeah uh, I'm um, in a very a person that likes grey a lot Okay. I choose a lot of green, Obviously. a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and this car has all of the important parts still intact, yeah. Yes. They call it the linta, the linta la, and, and the cornering lamps and all that. So were all these like uh, sourced and installed later in the car's life, or was it always like this from the start? Okay. What I remember, 
you know nowadays there is this like a proto when you when you buy a new car any car you have premium spec you have you know middle spec you know yes but i remember back then there was it wasn't like this you can individually tick which spec you want so i remember my 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 dad was telling that okay let's not go go for the rim the rim was actually a 13 inch you know the rim bc we call it right oh. yeah it was that so but then he 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 was telling to my other family members you know we need to go with this you know this protection for the bumper just in case you know accident so that that's why that's why the 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 door trim it has all the line Ah, yeah, yeah. so these are the parts that are supposed to protect lah in yeah. any light impacts. Light and, impacts. Exactly. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, when did you respray this car? First, I resprayed in 2019. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was an that that was the major repaint where I repainted the in and out. Okay. It's the door seals and also the out the exterior. Okay, and then uh, after two years of ownership. Uh, a lot of small, minor, you know, all the love marks was there, you know, people okay. hit there, hit there. So in 2022, I respected again. Okay, any major body work to be done? Rust, like, uh, no. welding? No, thankfully. Yeah, thankfully, thankfully. That That is what I'm really part of this car. Because it's really, I can say no rust at all. Okay, <laughs> nice. Yeah. And um, I'm really drawn to the interior, if my car yeah, yeah, open yeah, sure, the door. Sure. Can, can. Go ahead. That the interior is equally pristine as the exterior so you can see the level of you know car guyness diva is <laughs> okay what's the story behind this plat plat golf gti kind of design okay as you mentioned it lah uh, i'm a huge fan of the golf gti nice car since uh, the mark 5 i remember playing need for speed uh, most wanted in my ps2 okay it was my favorite car at the time and then i start to you know Uh, research more about it then i get to know that it has this unique seat we call it they call it tartan design uh. yeah so then i was like okay okay i like this okay one day one day we will have it but then when i when it comes to you know when i want to redo the seats i was have this i was having this idea why i shouldn't you know include that design that you know the the, the seat design that I, want, that i really like to this car mm. so i went and find few shops in Malaysia that that was you know doing the seats and then a lot of them just offer like a normal pu they just say okay i will do all black only we don't have this kind of design mm. and there's one shop uh, it's called newton leather so they had a design like this okay so when i saw okay you can do a fabric and pu mix yes i can okay okay i want to see all the design and then i saw this design which i really like fell in love then i went with it okay <laughs> see a car is an extension of your personality yeah. right and embodiment of it Is your daily driver? Daily driver. Ooh. Daily driver in a Vira. Yes. Manual, okay? <laughs> you don't pray, pray, ah. Manual in the jam, ah. Very hard, oh. <laughs> okay, so it's been, I would say, a very storied ownership, lah, so far, you know, from the hands of your father and yes. throughout your family. Now it's uh, on to you. What are your future plans for this car? Uh, How long do you plan to keep it, or what are the next uh, list of things that you plan to do? Okay, like. Uh, this car will be never be. I'll never sell this car. That's one thing. And then, uh, if uh, the, those who follow me on TikTok or anywhere else, or, or even my friends, they know that I'm very old and OCD guy. So a small, tiny details I will I will know I will notice it and then I want to you know I want to fix it. So you can see the paint is good, but then actually it's not good. <laughs> For really? Me, for me, it's not good. See, our standards are different. Is, His standard is, is higher, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so there is imperfection, like in terms of reflection, when you see the door, it's not straight. Okay. From, from the front, so. Got it. What I'm planning to do is repaint the whole car again, but maybe removing everything. Like you know, from from bare body. Okay. So, but this is a very. Uh, it's not very soon. It means maybe in five years time or four years time. So, but then, during this time, I will try to find all new parts for this car. Like, if I can find this rubber new, okay. I'll find it. If I can find this rubber new, I can. I'll find it. I have few stuff already. This door, this uh, we call it roof lining. Mm-hmm. I already have new at home. So I'm, I'm like collecting stuff now at the moment. All right. So one day th- there will be this, you know, this huge restoration that I'm going to do. Okay. So yeah, that's the that's the future plan. Okay. So until then, 
<laughs> Stay tuned with him. Uh, what's your TikTok channel? Um, uh, name is Tiva. Uh, you can search for that medium silver Vira. So it means that medium silver basically is the code name of this uh, color. Okay, I will link it in the description of the video. Yes. Tiva, thank you so much for thank sharing this uh, great piece of work and history <laughs> of your life. Yes, yes, uh, yes. So to all of you out there, treasure your cars. You know, they may not be the most expensive or flashy, but they surely have some integration in your life. Exactly. Stories. Yeah. Make thank sure you, to Diva. Follow him on uh, YouTube as well. Traction Talk. <laughs> Traction talk. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you. you, bro. All right, all right. So, a bit of nostalgia for you on this very sunny Saturday, tengah hari. You know, is the sound of your childhood. Shh, take a listen. You heard that? <laughs> this one, tak boleh lupa. The sound of 90s uh, proton cars and even the key fob is original. I yeah, noticed this as I was leaving. Look at that. The key. There's a slide and all that. <laughs> See? Uh, betul, ori.